So you've decided you're ready to up your coffee game by kicking your countertop pot to the curb in favor of something better? Or maybe you've had a Nespresso machine for a few years and are curious to see how much different a real espresso machine is. Particularly if you're an espresso novice, you may be looking for something with an easy learning curve that can get you from empty cup to latte in a flash. The Gaja Classic Pro has likely crossed your radar, seeing as it's an unofficial fan favorite amongst espresso enthusiasts, a tried and true performer available at a budget price. But before you set your heart on the Gaja, we wanted to compare it to two other popular options in a similar price range the Philips 3200 and the Breville Bambino Plus. While these three machines boast somewhat different features, you do well to consider all three before pulling the trigger. Now let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of each machine so that you can decide which is right for you. With brewing performance good enough for espresso connoisseurs, the Gaja Classic Pro is a solid option that has to be considered. Though iterations of it have been around for a few decades now, the latest version has polished it into a more refined espresso solution with fewer drawbacks. Among its more notable features, a commercial-grade steam wand with two-hole tip, sleek rocker switch controls, and subtle operation noise from improved pump mounts. The machine also features a heat-up time of five minutes, fairly quick when compared to cheaper espresso machines, and a three-way solenoid valve that relieves pressure and ensures a dry puck. However, the Gaja Classic does come with a few drawbacks. Adjusting temperature on the Gaja takes both effort and patience. While some have tried to remedy this difficulty by installing PIDs, pulling a proper shot really requires temperature surfing. We'll put a link to a video explaining how to temperature surf on the Gaja Classic in the description below. Another feature that leaves a lot to be desired on the Gaja is the steam wand. With a somewhat fixed position on the frame, steaming efforts are a bit of a one-trick pony. You'll end up with a somewhat frothy, cappuccino-friendly dry foam rather than a neat latte-style froth. All in all, this machine is a steady workhorse performer. Some may find its design a bit spartan or utilitarian, but its ability to craft quality espresso justifies the price tag for many. Overall, the Gaja Classic Pro is a decent pick for those looking for a more traditional espresso experience. It's also a device with a healthy user base and plenty of resources to learn from online. The Breville Bambino Plus is truly a compact dynamo. Its sleek metal aesthetic, smaller size, and user-friendly features make it a great entry-level machine for espresso amateurs. Despite its compact frame measuring only 12.6 by 7.7 .7 inches, it manages to fit in all the bells and whistles, all while fitting under your kitchen cabinets too. For those who just want to scratch that espresso itch as part of a busy morning routine, the Bambino Plus fits the bill nicely with its super simple interface and rapid warming time, the machine is ready to pull a shot within seconds. The Bambino Plus is PID temperature controlled as well. You won't need to do any temperature surfing. The resulting espresso more than passes the test. It's velvety and rich with proper extraction. A particular standout feature is the milk steaming and texturing system that creates effortless microfoam. Just put the included milk jug under the steamer and the machine does the rest. Three settings are available for different levels of milk foaming. Similarly, three settings are available for customizing espresso temperature. An impressive 2-liter water reservoir leaves more time for brewing and less for constant refills. The Bambino Plus also self-cleans both the group head and the milk texturing system. Only two real negatives stand out on the Breville Bambino Plus. The first is that the drip tray is slightly shallow. We found ourselves needing to dump it out after the machine self-cleaned either the group head or the milk texturing system meaning you'll actually need to dump it twice after making a latte. The second is the lack of an integrated grinder, which is common for espresso machines in this price range, but should be considered when compared to the Philips 3200, which we'll talk about next. Overall, we think the Bambino's compact size, ease of use, and complete feature set make it extremely easy to recommend. And at a price point of only $500, it's likely a better pick than the Gaja for both aficionados and curious novices alike.
Particularly if you already have a grinder, you should give very strong consideration to the Breville Bambino Plus. As both the only super automatic machine on our list and also the most expensive of the three, the Philips 3200 is a big league purchase in more than one way. For the price, you'll get it all though, including an integrated ceramic grinder with 12-step adjustment. A real highlight of the Philips 3200 is the interface, a digital display allowing you to easily customize drink type, strength, and even temperature. This interface is both great to look at and extremely easy to use, and the resulting espresso is quite good, creamy, and robust. We'd say it's probably not quite as good as can be produced with the Breville Bambino Plus, but it's in the ballpark and that's quite an achievement, particularly given the convenience. When comparing it to similarly convenient options like Nespresso, the Espresso from the Philips 3200 is definitely a step up. We'd say the milk frother on the standard model leaves a bit to be desired. You'll be able to lightly steam milk, but the texturing just doesn't compare to what the Breville Bambino Plus can do. But for an extra $150 to $700 total, you can get your Philips 3200 with the Latte Go milk system. A dedicated container of milk joins the steam wand and allows for full texturing at rapid speed. The Latte Go attachment is also easily disassemblable for a straightforward cleaning. Overall, the Philips 3200 is a pretty amazing machine at its price point and is pretty easy to recommend. For those prioritizing convenience and lacking a grinder, the Philips 3200 may be the right choice for you. So what's the verdict? We think you should probably consider either the Breville Bambino Plus or the Philips 3200, depending on whether or not you already own a grinder and whether brewing quality or convenience is more important to you. The Philips 3200 probably makes the most sense if you don't yet own a grinder and want a convenient way to roll out of bed and enjoy espresso. If it stays within your budget, we'd recommend the Latte Go version of the machine as it really improves the quality of lattes and other milk-based drinks. If you already have a grinder, the Breville Bambino Plus probably makes the most sense, as the Bambino Plus makes fantastic espresso and its automatic microfoam milk texturing system really does a great job. The Gaja Classic Pro, while previously a top favorite, would be hard to recommend to your average consumer and really is a better fit for hobbyists that want to learn more advanced espresso mechanics like temperature surfing. Do you own any of these espresso machines? Have a different opinion on any of them? Let us know in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe so that you can get updates when we post a new video. We'll see you next time.